everyone. Welcome to It's All Grady. I think the plan's going to be, let's lay out a 30 by 40, okay. and we'll see <laughs> if we can uh, be comfortable with that. You know, I wanna make sure that we can fit bedrooms and a living room and a kitchen and two bathrooms. Okay. In that layout. Right. Otherwise, 30 by 60 is the next one. We know what that price is. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's pull some measurements and see what a 30 by 40 looks like. Okay, sounds good. Hey guys, so we're just sitting here discussing um, the, we finally did receive a, our quote back from the metal building uh, place that we contacted and we've been discussing it. Earlier today, we did a layout yes. for a 30 by 40. Thirty by forty to see if we can comfortably fit in that space. Yeah, we're just kind of doing a little mock out, mock layout, layout. A thirty by forty would have to be two stories. Now we can probably go with a thirty by sixty and go with just one story, story. and all the rooms <clears throat> will just be a little bit smaller. Yeah. We're losing five. We're losing 500 square feet if we don't do the 1,200 square foot times two. It'd be 1,800 square foot ranch style home. We might, we might be able to fit a partial basement with this build. Right, maybe only half of the structure will actually have a basement. 1,800 square foot with a full basement is gonna to be too much. Like we're trying to build a house for under $100,000. And it's not easy. It is not. <laughs> it is not easy. Mm. This building here takes nearly shipped and with insulation is we're talking half of half of that is gone yeah just the building alone is almost half that's not including insulation or freight that's only one door It'd be crazy so the standing seam roof my opinion is the only way to go it has I think a clip it's a good idea yep it has a clip yeah. it raises the panel off the iron Mm -hmm. Sits on a clip. The next one hooks into that clip. It's a great system. It's going to be a lot more expensive, but there's not as many leaks in this. Wow. Yeah. And we're at half of our budget on just the, the frame building. and only one door. Now we, they'd added some fancy, some fancy uh, aspects to this, like the three-foot wainscoting style uh, panel oh. layout. So it has two different panels. One's a, you know, a th probably a 36 inch panel. And then there's a, a fancy trim that goes on it. That then you put your next panel on. And this, this metal building is a, it's, it's not like bar joist construction or pole barn yeah, construction. Or, red iron, well, it's iron. Yeah, it's gonna be, I, iron. yeah, it's gonna be I-beam construction. Plus, it costs about the same as lumber. Wood. Yeah. yeah. It takes less material to acquire the same structural integrity. Right. This will be completely open on the inside. It'll be 12 to 18 feet up on the eave. It'll be a 4 and 12 pitch. Would have put us at what? 22 feet or whatever. You know? At the peak. Inside you will it'll be all open you'll be able to build all inside of all that yeah there's a whole lot more insecurities involved when it comes to thinking about building a house as as it does to building a metal building right right now i still have to dress the inside out i've never done that i've built walls we've built offices i built walls and stuff like that and you can get really creative when it's something like this when it's just a big open you can get really creative but if it's only 1,200 square feet, you can't be too creative. Right. Right? Because you don't have enough room yeah, for that. Yeah, it's limited. It's 
very limited unless you got all your creativity is crammed into little teeny areas and then your house starts to look like you ordered it from wish <laughs> maybe it's the closest we've got so far we can have this sucker probably by september we could have all that stuff up there prepped up we could have our slab done probably won't do the concrete if we do the concrete it will be only just the like the concrete pad you know i would hire somebody to come out here that would be Work his helper us. yeah we got a quote from great western buildings it's the manufacturing facility is in grand junction and their corporate office is in aurora colorado and their the grand junction location is currently uh being developed and they're adding new machines in there and they're upgrading the buildings and they're creating jobs for people there so I mean Grand Junction's a small town so that's a pretty amazing thing and I love that about the company that we're talking to right now yeah plus my brother works there and he and he plays a big role there big role and he he's built these things before so his inputs probably valued there and I, I kind of like that because We've put a lot of these things together and we've put some together that were nightmares. Where they would have clips for clips. They were called clipping clips. Like these are <laughs> these are the things that engineers overlook when it comes to assembly. When you're putting the stuff together in the field, all the extra parts matter. They, they matter. Yeah. You know, and the only person that's saving anything is the people in the shops that don't weld the clips onto the iron and, you know, but. So pretty, him being experienced in putting them together helps with manufacturing them now. I'm certain. I'm certain it does. I'm certain the guy who owns the business is already a pro, though, too. I yeah. mean, he didn't get into a, you know, a multi-Brazilian dollar business, you know, and just do it off the off the fly like we did yeah so if you guys are interested in it go ahead and check out great western buildings on youtube um they have some pretty cool introduction videos to some of their projects or even how they put their buildings together or how you could put a building together if you ordered your own um and their website is super user friendly and it's cool you can set it up and just I mean, create your own building and add your own colors and your own openings and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. So if you're interested in what we got going on, go ahead and check that out. I spoke to another company that said, we have a building that's on the ready, the, the customer bail backed out of. And I remember that the Sales salesperson from, from here, Great Western Buildings, yep, said that that's probably what you'll hear. And I told that guy that I said, if you tell me that you have this building and the numbers match, I'm gonna hook up a trailer and come get it. <laughs> and he said, oh, well, it's like 40% done. done. And I said, well, I'm 100% out of here. <laughs> if I want, if it's gonna take six months to get my building, like it does everything else today. Yeah. then i just want i just want the vendor to be honest with me right because it's a these aren't favors we're doing each other i mean no these, this these, is business this is business and you know what it was pretty amazing because we were talking to a salesperson before we even really were trying to get any quotes and just out of generosity of his time and his information he told us that it was going to be september and he didn't try to pull our legs or anything like that or try to reel us in to get our business. So, I mean, and he didn't know nothing about us, which was awesome. He treated us just amazing. Yeah, so. treated us the way I would expect to be treated yep. by a salesperson. Yep. Well, let me rephrase that. The way I want to be treated by, by a salesperson. salesperson. The second company I call treated me the way I expect a salesman to treat me. Right. And that's to try to get your money no matter what try to get my money no matter what yeah I don't want to be right. building a house for the next five years I right want we want to we want to be able to complete it and but then if move in. the worst case scenario happens um, go for splitting it up in pieces I mean we'll have no choice yeah we'll have no choice
business. We'll do whatever we have to do. Like we have a business started. It will be, you know, operational in less than a year from when we, well, like a year from when we started it. And we started it, I don't know, when was December. it? December. Yes, we're excited to be able to share that with I, you guys. Yeah, we just want to be able to articulate it. I mean, this business is going to be so freaking exciting. It's crazy. I think, uh, I think this is probably the avenue, baby cakes. I really do. Like, I think we could probably save us some thousands, I'll bet you. It probably added some thousands to do the wainscoting. Right. Because it is extra metal. You know, I don't know that I want to compromise the 30 by 60 now. Only because I laid out the 30 by 40. And it just feels so, like, stubby. Um. You know, I don't think we really have a whole lot of choice. The nice thing about this is we don't have to necessarily be able to afford all of it at once yeah you know we could we could dress out what we can afford we can dress out half of it this is <laughs> this is it's gone from mansion to man cave and we still haven't pulled the trigger we have to make a decision quick though that's what it looks like So it's just a shell. We could build that. We can build that. We could build this. Mm 